This might be my very first video that I put up that actually finds its way to some haters, but hey, that's all right, because they hate us because they ain't us, right? video I decided that I want to talk to you guys about what I believe is one of the very best hobbies that you can pick up <laughs> she liked the bike <laughs> one of the very best hobbies that y'all can pick up arguably I will let me let's say that arguably the best hobby that you guys can possibly pick up and that is riding a motorcycle. And I will address the reasons why I believe that riding a motorcycle is one of the best hobbies you can have. So, I think literally anybody has something to gain from riding a motorcycle. So, first reason. Reason uno, uh, numero uno why you should ride a motorcycle, right? First reason is because it's honestly kind of cost effective. So think about this, if you spend $10,000 on a vehicle that you can use year round, you could spend the same amount of money and have $4,000 on some entry level brand new motorcycles and $6,000 on a, a used, a more used vehicle that's a potentially just as reliable and then you know if one vehicle ever goes down at least then you have a backup right um, and you can also save money by doing that by one well you don't have to take off work if your car goes down now right as long as the weather permits two motorcycles get great gas mileage this is my 2013 Yamaha FZ8 this is a big boy yeah it's a big boy and I average probably about 25 miles to the gallon. 30 miles to the gallon. No, I'm just kidding. Like 40 miles to the gallon on this thing, right? Like no car. The, the slowest, cheapest of cars can't match that. I get like 40 miles to the gallon on this bad boy. And it's fast. I right? It's fast. So, it's cost effective. You can save yourself money. Plus, they're honestly easier to maintain. I've owned cars. I've worked on cars my whole life. I've owned motorcycles and I've worked on motorcycles for a decent amount of time. Motorcycles are easier to maintain. You do your oil change on your motorcycle. That takes care of your engine and your transmission just doing a single oil change. You know, instead of all the things that can break on a car, I mean, on a motorcycle, your clutch cable might fray. Guess what? Literally within 10 minutes, you'll have a brand new one on, and, you know, you have to learn how to adjust the clutch cable. But other than that, done. Brakes, way easier. I've done brake pads and rotors and everything on a car and lead brakes and whatnot. Way more difficult on a car than it is on a bike. Uh, the only thing that's more difficult on the bike is taking the wheels off. That's literally the only thing more difficult on a bike. Uh, so saving money on maintenance, because there's a lot of things that you can learn to do on your own. And honestly, a motorcycle is just an easier platform to learn how to do things on your own, I believe. Reason number two. Now, uh, a lot of hobbies aren't just hobbies. They're part of someone's lifestyle. So I understand motorcycling is not the only thing that can be far more important to somebody that rides than just a hobby. But motorcycling is likely not going to just be a hobby for you. You will have a friend group, a support system. Uh, there's people that, you know, even things that you might not be able to learn how to do on your own. You'll make friends literally just by riding, going to bike meets or pulling up next to another bike and following him into a gas station and getting their number, you know. Uh, you, you'll make friends that do know how to do things with you and you can hang out with, go camping with. Like, I'll tell you what, riding on a motorcycle has got to be some of the most supportive friends that you will ever make. Uh, and it's just such a good community to be a part of. And it becomes a part of your lifestyle, your friends, your activities that you can go out and enjoy now. You know, maybe taking a trip down to Daytona, Florida and you're participating in bike week and 
you know there's it, it, there's so much room for the hobby to evolve you get better bikes you might get on get into off-roading whatever there's so much room for motorcycling as a hobby to evolve uh, reason number three why motorcycling is a great hobby to get into there's something for everyone if you just enjoy cruising around and looking at the sunset like this go get you a Honda Grom you'll have the time of your life and you know I'm not saying Honda Groms are fun little stunt bikes sure in the bike community yeah no get a Honda Grom just to cruise around on or get a very reliable small cruiser you know hell if you like Harley Davidson you got that American pride in you get an iron 883 you know get a, maybe a Sportster an entry-level Harley Davidson that you can get for cheap and it'll be reliable and last you forever um, plus you know, that's just like the people that just want to take advantage of riding as an opportunity to relax and enjoy being a part of the community and then enjoy exploring and looking at some beautiful sights on any good weather day uh, while on a motorcycle. That's not to mention all the people that might have uh, more entertaining ways of being on a bike. You know, you got all your car guys that act like they're adrenaline junkies but guess what i can't tell you how many car guys i've met that when i ask them well dude why don't you save your money and get on a bike and you know have more performance and reliability for your money it's because they're scared well that shouldn't hold you back you know you learn how to ride just like you learn how to operate a car safely and you know so it's uh you're you are at greater risk but aside from being at a greater risk, it's not like you and of yourself do not have the same capacity to ride a motorcycle safely as you do operating a vehicle safely. So all you guys that have a, a need for adrenaline, right? You can get way more performance for your money, way more bang for your buck out of motorcycles, honestly. And you know, this is my way of having fun now. I'm not gonna dump money into a sports car uh, when I can just have a motorcycle that's able to get the speed that I want out of it for more reliably than if I was dumping money into a vehicle or buying a very expensive vehicle that was fast. So there is literally something for everybody in the motorcycle world. If you don't like being on the streets around other cars, throw your bike in the back of your pickup truck and take it with you when you go camping and have a little trail bike you know get yourself a maybe a small little dual sport or a small dirt bike like a 125 or 250 and you'll have the time of your life when you take it with you camping or doing whatever right you, you know if you don't want to be riding on public roads so there's literally something for everybody in regards to getting on a motorcycle and having it serve you some sort of a uh, form of entertainment, you know, something to keep you occupied in your free time that you can enjoy. There is something for everyone, no matter what your intentions are with a motorcycle. So that's another reason why you should get into riding. All right, you guys. So I think I'm on reason numero uh, four, right? Yeah. Reason number four, while well, motorcycles are great, not quite sure yet. I haven't thought this one through. I don't know why I started recording. Look at that sunset. Driving through the uh, cute little downtown area, somewhat historic district kind of area. This road is just absolutely perfect for looking at that sunset. Wow. That is beautiful. It's a good thing I got my sunglasses on because if I did not have sunglasses on right now, I would not be able to see, like, anything. I think uh, reason number four, another good reason to ride a motorcycle is that it gets you outside. It's a hobby that keeps you somewhat active. You know, uh, active as in I am outside, I am breathing fresh air, I'm using a lot of hand-eye coordination, using my feet too, using my, my back and my core muscles to give myself lumbar support while sitting on the bike and whatnot. 
lot of hobbies don't necessarily do that. I guess if you uh, if your hobby is playing video games or uh, not that I have anything against any of these hobbies, but if your hobbies are playing video games or indoor rock climbing or whatever, you know, you might not be getting fresh air and you might not have uh, the opportunity to actually go out and socialize. That's another great thing about riding is we are outdoors, we are getting fresh air, we're feeling good. We are reducing our stress, seeing beautiful scenes and having opportunities to hop off the bike and be social or even while riding. If you ride in a group, get yourself one of those headsets. And yeah, that introduces our sponsor of the day. Sponsored is Cena. Just kidding, I'm not sponsored. Uh, I don't have any particular headset that I would recommend, but there are plenty of headsets that you can install onto your helmet and participate in calls up to like 15 or 20 people and all be listening to the same music if you put a song out all be listening to the same song that's playing during the call or uh, have like 15 or 20 people on the same call all being able to talk although that can get kind of hectic to be honest but they make headsets so you can be socializing and talking and uh, supporting one another, you know, reducing stress and being out on the bike and be talking to your buddy about how things at home sucks because he's married and he's got these kids and he just tries to get out of the house any, any chance he gets and you're like, dude, I don't care because I didn't get married at 19 years old and not that that's ever happened to me, but yeah, that could happen, you know, you can socialize and talk and share things and yeah um, another reason that you should get into riding motorcycles as a hobby is because you can do it like forever there is no age limit on riding a motorcycle you can do it when you're 16 you can do it when you are 60 there are plenty of hobbies out there that you just don't get as uh, wide of an age range that you can be doing that particular hobby but pretty much as long as you are able to operate a motor vehicle you can ride there are plenty of guys that ride motorcycles way up into elderliness 60s 80s certainly 40s and stuff like that uh, ages where uh, active much more active hobbies might not be an option anymore or uh, plenty of hobbies you're just not able to participate in quite as much as you used to or whatever but hopping on a motorcycle riding around with your friends talking going to bike meets going to car meets and looking at stuff hitting up some beautiful back roads and twisties or staying in town and maybe doing a little uh, red light racing uh, I didn't say that all those things are things that you could do well into 60s, 80s, again. So, there is no age limit to riding a motorcycle. That also means that you won't necessarily be wasting your time by investing money and time and uh, effort into participating in this hobby and you know owning and maintaining the vehicle and or learning new skills and stuff like that because uh, you might feel if you were doing another hobby that you just suddenly had to give up once you turned 40 or whatever uh, you might feel like you wasted your time and be that old man talking about his glory days you know what I mean and nobody wants to be like that nobody wants to peak and then the rest of their life seem monotonous and uneventful and boring so motorcycles keeps you youthful baby it's always room for improvement always room to be exploring and out riding hanging out with your boys Furta boys It turned out to be such a beautiful night to ride. Oh my gosh. My good friend here is very knowledgeable of the surrounding areas, so 
he's nice enough to be escorting himself and I through some beautiful back roads. Wow, look at that. Ain't that something, baby? Woo! I love being on a bike. Pardon my language. That's all right, I'll probably bleep it out. Reason number six why you should get into riding a motorcycle as a hobby. It's healthy for your relationship. Fellas, most women think if you ride a motorcycle, whether they have the nerve to get on it or not, most women think that riding a motorcycle is goddamn sexy. They're like, damn boy, let me put that fast little machine between my legs. Them engine vibrations be yeah, nice. Women think bikes are sexy, fellas. Get yourself a bike, and women are gonna wanna ride it. And women are gonna think that you are a more fun, dominant, brave, courageous male. Right? You're a goddamn man. Women, if you ride, some guys will be very intimidated if they don't ride motorcycles. Some guys that don't ride motorcycles will think that it's hot, will think that you're fun, and think that it's kind of badass. Not to mention, any guy that does ride will literally try to marry you. Like a woman that is also comfortable riding and you're coming from a, a, a male rider's perspective and a woman that wants her own bike gets on a bike and rides oh yeah motorcycles have two seats more often than not so fellas it is healthy for your relationship because it's something that you can do with your partner you know there's a lot of hobbies that you can't actually do with your partner Riding a motorcycle is one of them though. Take your partner out on the bike. They will also have reduced stress. They will also be getting fresh air and staying somewhat active and whatnot, right? So your partner, just by being on the back of your bike, will get to have a lot of the same benefits as what the rider themselves are getting out of being on a motorcycle. So that's always nice. I'm not gonna lie, I mean, we have not been going too terribly fast through these turns or anything, but I'm very impressed that I've been able to have a, uh, for the most part, very fluent conversation with myself while also beating on these twisties, baby! Oh my god! Woo! -hoo -hoo. Yeah, my boy here decided to swing in a big loop and ended up finding our way to Oxford, home of Miami University. In case you haven't seen my other moto vlogs, this is where I go to school. And man, I love Miami University. I'll tell you what, I love this school. I believe we are on to reason number seven and exactly what my friend and I are doing right now is this reason. We are riding and have seen things. We're exploring. Motorcycle riding is a hobby that will constantly get you out of the house and seeing something new every time you ride if you want to. You can always keep yourself entertained riding. It'll never get old because you are constantly able to see something new. You know, a lot of hobbies might be indoors or, uh, you know, you even if they're not indoors, you're going to uh, the same outdoor facility to do it or going to maybe different locations, but they all look relatively the same. Motorcycling is one of those great hobbies that will keep you seeing something new. Hell, you could go in a different direction and just ride and see something new every time you get on the bike if you'd like. So my buddy and I went in a big old loop, 
started off south, then went west, then went north, passing through Oxford now. And now we are headed north. And eventually we will head back east and then south again and be home. It's just stuff like this. This is why riding is another great hobby to have. It is uh, You are constantly able to just explore and see something new every time. Alright you guys, I think I'm going to uh, conclude my video here. If you made it this far, I hope you enjoyed, but those were all my reasons I could uh, think of while over the course of multitasking here. I'm right. Those are all the reasons I can think of as to why motorcycle riding is such a great hobby to get into. Um, if you enjoy this type of content, moto vlogs I mean, please, please, please check out the rest of my channel if you're new to the channel and discovered this video. Uh, I post plenty of moto vlogs of all sorts of different adventures, car meets, traveling, all sorts of stuff, as well as other content that's like fitness training related and uh, all sorts of interesting stuff that you might find if you are exploring other hobbies because this channel does not have one particular uh, niche so feel free to check out my channel and find other videos that might interest you as well and if you have any friends that would be interested in this type of content please subscribe and share and send this video to them send my channel to them and uh, share this content with any friends of yours that you think might be interested in it as well that's greatly appreciated and will really help this channel grow so i really appreciate you guys for watching and thank you for watching the entire video if you made it this far i'm sure this video will more than likely be one of my most clicked off of videos but that does not bother me because anybody that's genuinely interested in motorcycle riding will hopefully appreciate this video and everything that I talked about and be able to show this to mom and dad when they're 16 and want a bike or show this to their girlfriend to convince their girlfriend to be comfortable with them getting a bike or something like that. So hope you guys found this video interesting. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.